Hello, welcome to another session with OCD. Um, so, today, what am I up to? Um, I've just uh, washed my daughter's Nissan. Um, and if you've seen the previous video on um, on that Citric wash, you'll, you'll know that uh, it's the first time it's been washed for a year. So there's no protection on it at all. Um, so what I've got here is uh, Bouncer's HSF hydrophobic snow foam now the instruction says that you wash the vehicle well I've done that uh, ensure the surface is clean done that mix with a blend of water of 1 to 10 in your snow foam lance done that um, spray over the vehicle and allow product to dwell for 3 to 5 minutes um, depending on the air temperature so at the moment it's 10 and a half degrees and then fully rinse and ensure residual removal on all exterior areas using a pressure washer. Okay, um, and uh, it says it will then add a protective hydrophobic layer of protection to your vehicle and prevent the build up of contaminants, keeping your car looking cleaner for longer. This can be used as a standalone protector or over existing wax or coatings. So, um, this was kindly sent to me by Jay of Bouncers uh, just before Christmas I think so uh, I've been looking um, to try this out so this is a perfect car to try it out on um, let's connect the snow foam lance up and uh, let's see what we get shall we right let's give it a go Right, so that's uh, about four minutes. So you can see yourself that is sheeting off. It's definitely put something on the uh, on the paintwork, um, and that was totally flat before. So, all right. So there we are. Very quick video on Bouncer's HSF. So my my thoughts on it. It definitely left um, uh, protection on the car. It says on here that you could use it. Um, a standalone or existing over wax or coatings. My experience on using it just now, I wouldn't use it as standalone, I don't think it's strong enough. Um, yes, it made the water sheet a bit of beading. Um, it was a tough test for it, I have to say, because that car, as I said um, earlier, hasn't been washed properly for 12 months, so there's no protection on it. The paintwork felt a little bit like sandpaper, it needs. It needs some uh, correction doing to it um, so it was a rough test and that definitely left protection on the car my problem with it isn't so much the protection it leaves on the car I don't know where it stands in the market to be honest um, it says it's a hydrophobic snow foam I, I don't know whether it's a cleansing snow foam um, because I did it on a clean car, a uh, car that I just washed. If you were going to use a spray and rinse, you'd use um, some of their other products. So I've got Bouncer's Bee Juice. It's a good product. You spray the car, you, you rinse the car off, you spray it with, uh, with bee juice, you wash it off and you dry it. Job done. 
Um, I don't know where that sits in the market. If you was going to have a spray and seal, you'd probably use that. Um, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit lost, really. Um, it's quite a good product. Leaves protection on there. Like I said, if this was a waxed car, um, I think that would probably be a better product to use on it. I think it was a bit of a tough ask to go on to a totally... Um, flat car so maybe I'll use it again on a waxed car and and see what see what I think um, but on today's usage would I buy it again probably not um, purely because I don't know where it sits I'd either wax a car coat a car seal a car or um, spray and seal so yeah I was tempted to use a drying aid when I dried the car, but that would have given me a false, false uh, reading, if you like, false outcome. So yeah, the the um, the jury's out for me on uh, HSF. Um, if I was going to use a bouncer's product to do that, I'd use Bee Juice, which is a good product, um, which I've uh, got a video on this. If you look back, I've got a video on it. Um, so there we go, so uh, the car's nice and clean now, so from OCD, you guys take care, bye bye.